Okay, so back to the twisty plum tree stump carving. Okay. Uh, so, uh, again guys, I want to go over safety. Steel toe boots, chainsaw pant or, or uh, chaps, your safety gloves. There's mine right there. Um, eyewear and ear protection. So, uh, yeah, I just started carving. I forgot to film. It was, uh, I got a lot more stuff to do on this, so I'm just kind of getting to be in a hurry here, but I don't want to be too much of a hurry. So I got all this owl, silly little uh, owl's eye. I'm just waiting to hear back from Pete. Uh, I might put a wood, a wood uh, block in here and epoxy it in or something. And um, yeah, so I still got to do the eyes. So I'm gonna put these eyes in. I'm gonna burn this owl, or maybe I'll leave it. I don't know. All this color, see the beautiful color in here, guys? That's the actual color I'm looking at. It's a little bit brighter on camera here, but this all turns brown after a while anyways. And the, the wings, there was some punkiness in these wings here before I cut it. So what I did is I just cut it like this. That's kind of how I do my eagle wings anyways. You guys can see here this way. And um, I'll put little feather things in here. See, it's it's all this is all spalted, but it's not punky. I cut in deeper, that's why. See, it's punky right here, a little bit, but it's not punky in here, so that's good. I cut the most of the punkiness away. Okay, so let's give you a visual, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to carve out these uh, eagle eyes. Progress, progress. Okay guys, so uh, everything's going good on this. We got Paul Flint off in the house. He's the guy that drew my shirts again. And uh, Paul wants to, he's never carved. Well, he's done, what kind of carvings did you do before Paul, those little things? I was making little toys. Little toys? Yeah, okay. 3D toys. 3D toys. So Paul told me that he was gonna help me with the owl, but I couldn't wait as I said in yesterday's video. Um, so I just got it done, mostly done. But Paul wants to uh, start trying to carve. So what a, what a fucking honor. So we're gonna, I'm gonna block out this uh, wood spirit for him with my chainsaw. And then I'm gonna give him his Dremel and whatever tools he needs to uh, carve his face. Oh boy. I can't wait to see it. I've done like 5,000 of them. He's gonna do one and it's just gonna blow mine right out of the fucking water. Absolutely, because he's, he's an artist, guys. Like, he can draw whatever he wants. I can't. I can draw a stick man, but probably not a running stick man. Okay, so I'll block this out for good old Paul. Oh, and also, guys, Tyler likes the, uh, the burnt look. See, I got the eyes carved in there. I got the elbow and shell to put in. But Tyler looks, I carved these um, talons with my chainsaw. They're a little bit thin, but it's just, it's okay. It's just for visual, right? I gotta touch him up. Lots of detail to go. I gotta put lots of little feathers on his head. And I'm gonna put little feathers down here, like little, that I do for my wood spirit beards when I'm uh, carving at home. Those, that little aluminum cutting bit. And um, yeah, so Tyler wants this. Tyler loves burning. His whole tattoo shop was burnt uh, pine wood, so you can see the grain. So he wants, he loves this look. So this whole thing's gonna be burnt. And it's okay guys, because I've carved plum wood before and when it's outdoor, doesn't matter how much times you oil it or put your clear coat on it, it all goes gray after a while. It really does. So he wants it all burnt. And I kind of agree with him because look at the cool color, different colors in the burning here, right? Okay. Okay, look at this. We got Paul, Mr. Paul Flintoff in the house, <laughs> carving out a good old spirit. Look at that, it's already looking better than mine. <laughs> and I've done 5,000 of them. See, look at him, he's taking his time. Good job, Paul, good job. Thanks, buddy. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun. It looks like you do. And would you look at this. It's a goddamn cat on a sheep. 
cat on a sheep. Meow. Nice cat. Big sucker. Cat on a sheep. How's the carbon going there, Paul? Good, man. Oh, yeah. See, look. It's already better than mine. I'm having fun. Big fat bottom lip. That's cool, man. And guys, we got a special guest in the house. Fuck you, Jordy. Who does that remind you of, people? That's the original. That's the original Grumpy Jesse. How you doing today, Je Grumpy Jesse? Great, you? I'm okay, but you don't like people, so what the hell are you doing here? Fuck off now. <laughs> okay, so I got all those feathers cut in to the wings. Look at those different colors, guys. Pretty cool, eh? But you know, like this white wood, within an hour, will turn that. Uh, orange color here so whatever it's all this whole thing's getting burnt now what I got to do is get my um, where is that tool right here this is just like uh, this is a die grinder guys and it's like a metal working burr on here okay well it's got dirt on it but you see that and I'm gonna do this on edge just like I do my wood spirit beards some fine hairs put that down grumpy Jesse ah. <laughs> And I'm going to give them some fine details for the hair, feathers uh, right here. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Here's Paul's carving. He had to go for a minute, but look at that. This guy, pretty cool. So far, just getting started on that. Look at that already. What do you say about that, Grumpy Jesse? No way. Okay. Bye, Grumpy Jesse. Ah. See you later. Don't still want to see it for another month now. Okay. So we're uh, got the owl. I got two different colors eyes in there right now. I'll give Tyler the choice. Who knows? Maybe he wants to have two different eyes in there. I got the beak carved in. It's got a big old beak. I got his feathers cut. I did this all with a chainsaw. Sorry guys, I haven't been filming that much because people just keep stopping by. <coughs> Excuse me. So that the whole Tyler wants the whole piece burnt. That's what he wants. I got the eyes carved out <coughs> to put the abalone shell on there. I tuck the abalone shell underneath the eye, whatever brows. I got the breather holes carved in both sides. Okay, those paint black in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do now? Oh yeah, these towels I cut them a little bit thin but they're just visual I'm gonna cut the claws out <coughs> Jesus excuse me <coughs> okay so that's what I'm gonna do next and also I'm gonna get my that uh, air die grinder <coughs> excuse me put the bird hairs in here <coughs> gee wow okay so I got all the feathers cut into the um, eagles head I got his talons cut out a bit I know his top I could make way better talons but these at least say what it is. Big talons. Those little fake eyes in there. I gotta pull these eyes out now because they're just pushed in there. Because I'm gonna go along and burn everything now. Okay, so I gotta burn it. What do you guys think? Okay, so we got uh, all the birding done. Got a little bit of sanding done. Got Paul, good old Paul fucking putting in his eyebrows for the wood spirit. So now I gotta, I gotta do, uh, I gotta get some dowels to replace those screws with dowels. And uh, what do you think so far, Ty? Uh, it looks incredible. Look at man. It looks really good. Oh, it's Tyler. beyond what I thought. So Tyler's got his mom and dad's uh, initials on there, so we're gonna carve those in too. And we're gonna paint those red. And he, Tyler chose the orange eyes. Orange eyes, yeah. Orange eyes, yeah. The orange are good, man. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so everything's going on key. We still haven't sanded this yet. Now I gotta go get the, um, the whatever those things are called, the wood things I'm gonna stick in there. Pull these screws out, 
and put those out. Oh, God damn it, I can't even think of the name. Dowels, go get the dowels for the, for the screw holes. None of it's sanded yet. Okay, Paul. Okay, so uh, Paul's carving's done here. What are we calling this guy, Ty? <laughs> Something googly. Yeah, we're gonna call Dr. him. Googles. Homer Simpson googly eyes, the Sasquatch. How's that? Yeah. No, I think Mr. Googles. <laughs> Love it, Paul. I hope you're gonna watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I got everything burnt. I got the plugs in. Okay, so th Pete came over and gave me a hand with the plugs. Thanks, Pete. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so you can see a plug here. You can't even really notice it, and you can can't even see that plug there, eh, Pete? It just kind of blends in. I got my eagle head, my eagle beak. I got it dialed in, so now it's pointy. Okay. Uh, I got some of that, the face sanded. I still got to sand the owl. Um, and Tyler has decided, because this is like a rock cliff. Oh yeah, there's his talons. A little bit skinny, but that's okay. They say what they are, right? If you look that way. So, um, this is rocks here, right? So I'm going to make this whole thing uh, rock cliff down here and down there. So that's what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to call it a day. It's got a good visual here. Tyler loves the burnt look. I like the burnt look on this too. You guys, when you burn uh, wet wood, it doesn't take the detail away as fast. But uh, I'm totally happy with this eagle head. Probably one of the better ones I've done. I got the abalone shell cut for inside the eye. I got his breather holes there. I'll paint in there black. Tyler, I got this carved in. His parents' initials in the tree. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to block this out right now so it looks like a rock cliff. Might as well keep it all one theme, you guys, right? Burn it and everybody's real happy. Okay, so I'm pretty well done for the day. I'm pretty tired. I got the <clears throat> rocks carved in here, carved down there too. You know, you guys, when you do bigger carvings like this too, and it's going to be out, outdoors, you know, make sure there's always a room for the water to travel, right? Like there's no like low spots for the water to sit in because that's what that will help rot wood too right so mostly here i got all the spots clear for the water to travel down to tyler's going to have a garden around here or something whenever he's done the landscaping so what i'm going to do quickly before i go now is i'm going to set the uh abalone eyes in the uh, eagle head it's dipped a little bit here from that uh bark but it's okay i'm happy with it Okay, so, oh, well, why is that not fitting in there? Oh, wrong eyes. Okay, guys, so this is my third day on this piece. Um, I'm almost done. I got the rocks carved in there, so it looks like a cliff kind of thing. Um, I think Tyler said he might come back. He's got good torches and burn this tonight. He likes burning wood. And um, so I got to burn this. If he does it, I got to burn it. I still got to sand it all give you the high points like this. Okay, I put some spray paint in here just so he doesn't have to burn too deep to get into the cracks. See the spray paint there? Um, I got the eagle eye set in, abalone shell. There's a little gap there, but that's not a big deal. I'm really happy with this uh, eagle head. It looks kind of you know, aggressive. That's how I like my eagle heads to look, right? Let's do a spit test, guys. This is sanded with 80 grit, to 80 grit. Big spit. So there. So I gotta go get some, uh, ah damn, I forget the stuff Pete told me to get to put on this, cause this is still, uh, wet, so he said uh, no oil based, it's going to be a water based kind of thing. It's not going to be stained, it's just going to be a clear finish, like oil, but something water based. So, you guys can see at the end of the day, I got all my tools cleaned up. I'm going to wake up my area, you know, just make it so you come here the next morning and uh, 
you're good to go. You don't have to clean up before you start working. So I'm really happy with the way it's going. What do you guys think? A lot of work, guys. Might not look like it, but really, it really is. And uh, we had a good time today. Lots of friends came by, said hello, and uh, right on. God damn grumpy Jesse. Sorry, I didn't mean to say God. Just damn grumpy Jesse. One other thing, guys. We cannot forget about the great Paul Flintoff's googly Homer Simpson Sasquatch pig goat. Yeah, this guy is cool. I love him. Thanks for putting the target on this pole. Look at this guy. I don't think I'd want to be coming around here at night time. This guy's staring at you, would ya? <laughs> You're some wood there, George. <laughs>